Hi angels, today I wanted to talk about two vintage Dooney and Burke bags. I wanted to talk about these two beauties right here in my collection, the vintage Dooney and Burke Gladstone bags. So I have both of them right here and I wanted to discuss these two ladies in my collection. If that's something that you're interested in, then go ahead and keep on watching. And at the end of the video, remember to like, comment and subscribe on my channel. So yeah, you guys, I wanted to discuss these two lovely bags in my collection. The red one is really heavy. Both of the bags are heavy, but the red one I have packed right now. Um, it's the bag that I'm using. So the black one is the small. So let me see if I can go ahead and just, I'm going to try to show you the, the bag side by side. Let me give you, and I'll give you dimensions. So this is what they look like. Let me see if I can show you the back and the bottom of them. This red one is killing my hand because it's so heavy right now, it's full. <laughs> it's packed with all my items from the other day. Okay, let me show you the bottom of both of them and then I'll go ahead and give and do some measurements on both of these bags. And these are basically like Boston bags, like the Gucci Boston bag or like the Louis Vuitton Speedy. They're basically doctor type satchel bags. Let me see if I can turn this one this way so you can see it a little bit better. Maybe it'll show better this way. So these are the vintage, um, the Dooney and Burke vintage Gladstone bags. And they came, the Gladstone line came in four different bags. It came in the two satchels and then it came in the two travel bags. So yeah, you guys, let's do it this way. That might be better so you can see. <laughs> There we go, I think that's better. Okay, so they both have six feet at the bottom of the bag, and I'm gonna start with the large bag. The large bag is pretty much, it reminds me a lot of a Dooney & Burke medium Florentine satchel. It's almost the same measurements. The Dooney & Burke medium is about 15 inches long at the bottom, and this bag is about 13 inches long at the bottom. So I am going to, in the future, do a comparison of the Dooney and Burke Medium Florentine Satchel up against this bag as well. But you see, this bag is 13 inches, and I'll attempt to show you guys that, as well as I'll put the official measurements up, maybe. Maybe I could do that, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold this up. I should be strong enough to do it. Okay. There it is right there, you guys, 15 inches. No, I'm sorry, 13 inches, 13 inches. The Dooney and Burke Medium Florentine Satchel is gonna be 15 inches, but this bag is 13 inches. And then height-wise, it is about seven inches tall. About seven inches tall, you guys. So that's what that looks like right there. And then width-wise, seven by seven. Okay, so she's 13 inches long by seven inches tall by seven inches wide, you guys, by seven inches wide. Okay, let's go ahead and do her counterpart, her, the small Gladstone bag, the small Gladstone bag, and I'm gonna do these dimensions really quickly are going to be, she's about 12 inches long, 11 and a half to 12. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look and see what it says um, because she's coming up at about 11 and a half. And we know that bag, the large is 13. So 11 and a half is not much of a difference, but when you look at them, you can see there's a visible difference. But, you know, when I measure it, it's coming up at about 11 inches. Right here, it's coming up at about 11 inches. Height-wise, she's seven inches. See, so she is about the same. She is about the same. Okay, so measurements-wise, she is about the same in width. And in height, really, almost, it doesn't look like it, but I just took the measurements and they're coming up about the same. They're coming up at about the same. These two bags right here, I really love. Um, the small Gladstone is really, really nice. 
if you you know this the the large like i said it's it's full right now and it is very heavy so if you're somebody that doesn't want a heavy bag on your arm you might want to go with the small because the large is very very heavy when you have your things in it like it was killing me just now to hold it up but um you know that's just i'm in an awkward you know area right now as far as sitting wise to hold it up but if you're walking and you have the strap on and you're carrying a top handle you should be fine but i'm just saying if you're somebody that has back problems or a bad shoulder or something like that you probably would want to go with the small because the the large gladstone with those dimensions 13 inches long by seven by seven it is quite a heavy bag but they both can hold a lot and the pebbling on them the quality of the durable leather on them is just so so nice and i am proud that you know dooney and burke is still doing really quality leather bags you know even though these are older bags okay so the small is right here and the small right now i don't have anything in it but even the small will get you know a little bit heavy if you have her stuff you know your stuff in her really really nice bags these are really really nice quality durable leather vintage pebbled leather bags and the leather on these are so so nice the all-weather leather so they've been treated and they're all-weather leather um i still wouldn't wear them like the snow or the rain but i'm just saying that you know if if a little bit of something does get on them you don't have to really be worried about it i still wouldn't wear them out in bad elements like snow or rain though but this is what the small looks like and I'm going to go ahead and put the straps on because I wanted to give you ladies an idea of what these bags would look like if I'm wearing them. So let me go ahead and put the straps on them. And they have the little D-rings on either side of the bag. They have the little D-rings on either side of the bag. So let me go ahead and show you guys what the small one will look, right, look like. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, just getting myself ready, you guys. Okay. So here I am. And this is the small. This is the small Gladstone. And this is what this bag would look like. These are really, really nice crossbody bags. Or even if you just want to wear it as a shoulder bag across you, a nice shoulder bag. Nice top handle bag. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys what the large Gladstone would look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the straps on the large Gladstone. Just give me one second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put the strap on the large Gladstone so we can see what the large Gladstone looks like. Almost done, you guys. Okay. Okay, you guys, so this is what the large Gladstone looks like. I wanted to give you guys a few mod shots of the large Gladstone.
This is what the large Gladstone looks like. Let's go ahead and put her crossbody. Her strap is a little bit shorter. So this is what it looks like crossbody on me. And I can even switch up with that longer strap. I actually like the longer strap on, matter of fact, let's do that. I like the longer strap on the large Gladstone and the shorter strap on the small Gladstone. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Let's go ahead and switch straps. This is the original strap for the red Gladstone, the large strap, the shorter strap, the small Gladstone. I'm using a strap from one of my other Dooney and Burke bags. Okay, but it's a longer strap. Okay, so let's try the longer strap on the large Gladstone and the shorter strap on the short, <laughs> on the small Gladstone. And you guys, make sure you check out my playlist on these vintage Dooney and Burke bags. Okay, so this is the longer strap on the Gladstone. And I think this is going to be better for crossbody, for when I wear a crossbody maybe. Let's try a crossbody now. Yeah, that's better. On the larger Gladstone, I feel better with the longer strap on the large Gladstone. That's much better for my purposes because I'm tall. I'm about 5'8". You could just throw it to the back and wear it like that. I like the long strap better on the large Gladstone. Or I could just carry her top handle like this. And most of the time, you know, I just like carrying her top handle like that. But if I need the strap, I like the longer strap with this bag. Okay, let's put the shorter strap on the Dooney and Burke small Gladstone. Let's put that small re replacement strap. Um, I'm sorry, this is the small strap, that, but this is the original strap to the Dooney and Burke uh, large Gladstone. But it came with a smaller strap. I don't know, I might like the longer strap on both, I don't know. Okay, this is the shorter strap. I think I might like the longer strap on both. We know, let's see. Okay, no, this is better. Actually, the shorter strap is better on the short bag, the longer strap is better on the long bag. But the shorter strap came with the long bag. The shorter strap is the original strap for the large bag. The longer strap that I used with the red one, the large bag, is a replacement strap from a different Dooney and Burke bag. Okay, I hope, I hope you guys are following. I know you are, because I know you're bag divas out there. I know you understand what I mean. I think I'm gonna, okay, let's see how this one looks crossbody. Yeah, I think I like the longer strap on both, actually which is a replex, is a strap from a different Dooney and Burke bag. And the lock, the short strap that came, the original strap for this bag that is short, this one right here, I will just use this on my other Dooney and Burke bags. I think I'm gonna use this longer strap that came with a different Dooney and Burke bag on both of these, either one of these bags when I wear them. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed me talking about both of these Gladstone bags, both the small and the large Gladstone, and this is what they look like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel, and I'll see you again soon in another video.